Near Fort Atkinson, on the west side of Lake Kashkanang, the 10th year of UWM's Archaeological Field School is in full swing. Here, under the direction of UWM anthropology professor Bob Jeske, students are excavating several sites of villages that once lined the shore of the lake about 800 years ago. In this wall are discrete episodes of people bumping things, including fish. We've got essentially an entire fish that's laid out in this wall. Their digging has uncovered so, evidence of houses, human remains, as well as an entire bison spine. But much of what they are finding are fragments of everyday life, pottery, stone tools, and animal bones. Undergraduate Shannon Cowell discovered a somewhat more interesting artifact. Here are some pot shirts that I found. They're part of the rim, and they fit together just like this. Show me the two pieces separately. Okay, and then together. And then this is the inside of the pot, and they fit together like that. Right. Okay, where did you find them in the pit? Here. In the dark area? Yeah, that's part of the feature. That we're okay. Sometimes they hit upon a relatively rare artifact, like a large mm -hmm. chunk of a vessel or a single spindle wheel found in another pit nearby. Other times, though, the students dig all day and come up empty handed. What have you found today? Um, actually, we found pieces of firecrack rock. Firecrack rock is an indicator that an excavated area may contain a spot where cooking was done. Those areas may also hold pieces of shells, which were used as spoons, pottery, and bits of charcoal. Are you going to be taking out the tree trunk? Daniel Winkler is a doctoral student directing the undergraduates here. He has a hunch that one particular site will yield larger portions of pottery those that may show decoration or how the piece was made. His hunch pays off. Um, Dr. Jesse can probably explain a little bit more. We got a nice bend in this one. Oh, yeah, this is the shoulder. shoulder. This would be the shoulder portion of a vessel here. This is the external portion. As Dan was saying, that's where the neck comes up across, like, would come up like this. And out the room would come out. And the interior, you can see actually the finger marks of the person who made the pot. Why did you think there'd be large chunks of pottery in this site, Daniel? Well, um, usually it's surprising because in Wisconsin with the way the weather is, you typically uh, ceramics get broken up into very small pieces. But in this area where we've been working the past few years, we've been finding a lot of large pieces of, uh, of ceramics. So in this feature where we were working in 2006, we pulled out almost uh, half of a, a rim of a vessel. Through the field school, UWM students are learning about Wisconsin's Oneota history, but more importantly, they are learning the patient's intuition and techniques of archaeologists. 